y'all and welcome to today's video. We are going to be judging new makeup, looking at all the new things that have been announced. Some of these things have just been sneak peeked or shown. Some of them are coming soon. Some of them are available now. We're going to judge it. Is it cute? And we want to buy it. Is it cute? But we're still not going to buy it, but we like to look at it. Do we wonder what the people creating these products were thinking? We're going to judge it. We're not going to judge each other. The world would be boring if we all loved the same makeup, looked the same, sounded the same. But listen, just because I love something and you hate it, that's cool. If I hate something and you love it, then I love it for you. We're just going to have a good time. We're going to judge. I'm going to slide my chair over to the side, pop up some photos. Let's jump into it. All right, y'all starting off, let me just tell you that I just feel kind of like, eh, meh about this week. I prepare all week long looking for new makeup, reading things, trying to find links, trying to find sources. And there's just not a lot this week. And as much as I'm like, there's nothing like, or there's not a lot of like, bam, bam, bam. I won't say there's nothing exciting, but there's just not a lot. As much as I'm like, oh, I'm also kind of like, yay. Every once in a while, we need a little bit of a slow week, right? Like every week can't be coming for our wallets because it just can't, it just can't, it just can't. So I'm going to pop up the photos. The accounts that I pull from are gonna be in the description box along with any information I have. But let's start off first and talk about a few things at the drugstore. So L'Oreal Infallible 24 Fresh Wear Soft Matte Blushes. These are available now and I saw these pop up on the Ulta app because I believe they were like a diamond platinum app, something exclusive. You know how these like Ulta and Sephora like to do where they're like, oh, you can get it a little bit earlier for this, this or that. Anyways, I saw these there and there are four different shades and I do want to buy one of these. I haven't bought it yet, but I plan to. I thought maybe I would see these in my local store. If not, I can definitely buy it online. But I like the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Bronzer so, so much. So because of how much I love that, I really want to try one of these blushes. So these are... $15.99 each. Y'all, the drugstore, they just keep coming and coming and coming and creeping up with those prices. That is, that $16, that's, that's getting on up there in price. You know, that's definitely more than ColourPop or some of these other brands. Like, that's kind of a high, that's, that's a high price for L'Oreal, you know? It says there are four shades and it's a lightweight formula with buildable coverage. Um, let's see. I like the shades here. I think these look really pretty. I like how we have like a coral shade, a pinky shade, a berry, and then more of like a brown tone. Looks very pretty. Um, matte finish. What are you going to say? I want to see these in store. Right now I'm leaning towards the pinky shade or the berry shade. I really like pinks and berries and blushes. I think all of these shades look really good though. So let me know, did you buy one of these? Because I went to, I was just kind of like, you know, next time I'm at Walmart, I see them, I'll pick one up then. But if not, maybe next time I'll place an Ulta order. Okay, also from L'Oreal, we have some new lip products. So these are the Infallible La Matte Resistance Liquid Lipsticks. A powdery matte liquid lipsticks that last for 16 hours, transfer and smudge proof, all day matte finish with hyaluronic acid in 12 shades for $11.17 each is what I'm seeing. So one, I like the packaging. I like when the packaging matches the outside color, especially for a drugstore product. Because if you're shopping these in store, it's very easy instead of looking at the bottom sticker of a product, because usually, at least where I live, I don't really have testers at Walmart, Target, Walgreens, places like that. So 
I can't just swatch things like if I were going to Sephora and buying a more high-end product. So I like that the packaging matches. I know that can sound like a small detail, but it definitely makes a difference. And then also if you buy one, you really like the formula, you want to buy a couple of more, you can easily tell which shade is which if you're looking in your makeup bag or a drawer or whatever, you know? So I like that. I think these shades look pretty. It looks like we have some pinky tones, some light pinks, some deeper pinks, maybe some corally red shades and deep berries. I would definitely be interested in trying these out. I still very much like matte liquid lipsticks. I usually always top them with a gloss, but I like having that liquid lipstick underneath to give me like long wear color. So I would definitely be interested in trying one of these out. I'm not sure which shade, but if I see these in store, I'm definitely gonna look. Okay, also at the drugstore, we have more of these from Maybelline. Now, let me just out the gate before I say anything else, say I hate this formula from Maybelline so much. I know it's so many people's favorite, like they love this formula. They have this formula in multiple shades. They love it. I hate it. For me, it felt like apple barrel paint. You know the apple barrel paint that you like buy at the store? They're like this big. You get them in all the colors. You do arts and crafts. It felt like if I took that, rub it on my lips. Like it never dried down. And it, I don't even mind a lipstick that doesn't dry down if it's slippy and glossy and feels nice and hydrating. But this was like bop, bop, bop paint paint. I hate it. I hate it. And I know so many other people love it. And every time I talk about my disdain for this product, so many of y'all in the comments tell me you love it. So guess what? I love it for you. And I'm guessing this product sells really well for Maybelline because they keep coming out with more shades if memory serves me correctly. So I definitely think a lot of people love this. I'm just not one of them. So this is the new Mood Makers Collection from Maybelline. If I had not tried this formula, the packaging would pull me in because I love a good little cute smiley face. I think this is adorable. So this is their Super Stay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks and they have this little applique. Anyways, 11 bucks each, pass for me. Also from the drugstore, we have this preview of Fortnite and Makeup Revolution. I know so many people that play Fortnite and love it. I do not play Fortnite, but I think this is a genius collab. And when I saw this little sneak peek, at the time of I'm filming this, this is all I have, this little sneak peek and coming soon. I am honestly shocked that there has not been a Makeup Fortnite collab before because, or has there? Now that I say that, I'm like, has there been one before? But Fortnite, the, the skins, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't remember what they're called, but I know there's so many like different ones, very creative, like there are different things in Fortnite you can do that's very like bright and colorful and fun. So I feel like Fortnite collabing with a makeup brand makes total sense. And I am glad to see that it's a more drugstore priced brand. I hate the word affordable because like everybody's definition of affordable is different. So we'll go with the drugstore for Makeup Revolution. I think this is a very, very smart collab. So I don't have any other information right now. From what I can see in this photo, it doesn't look like any products that I'm excited about personally. It looks like we have a six pan palette full of matte shades. I don't know, like not super intriguing to me, maybe a face trio. Unless something like else interesting comes up with this, I plan to pass on it. Makeup Revolution is known for doing a lot of things in a collection, so maybe there's gonna be more than just the pixelated image we can see here. I'll keep an open mind. Okay, ColourPop also did a huge restock for Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. And I have to say, I have bought all of the ColourPop Star Wars stuff. I have only ever seen one Star Wars movie, almost by force, if you will, from my husband's son. It came out in the theaters. I was like, oh, I'll go with them. Um, so I don't know. I, listen, Everything I have learned about Star Wars has been like secondhand and I still feel like I know a lot because 
my husband and my kid are in to it you know what I'm saying so I think this restock is amazing because if I take out Star Wars and we look at the Star Wars palette, the larger one, not the, the Darth Vader palette's great, C-3PO palette's great, Gogu Mandalorian, they're all, they're great palettes. I have videos with those on my channel. But the Star Wars palette, the larger one, I think that's a 16 pan, no, 15 pan, one, two, three, four, 15 pan, get it together, Heather. That is a beautiful palette. If you took it out of Star Wars packaging, you put it in something basic, I still would have bought the palette because the color story is so beautiful. The silver, the red, the blue, the deep dark black, the kind of neutrally cool leaning shades, very beautiful. The quality of that palette is the best ColourPop does. Like it is a quality, quality palette and they did a great job. So I know this is not like a new makeup release, but it is a restock that I wanted to let y'all know about because usually when I see that palette come back in stock, it sells out from ColourPop and that takes them time to restock it. So I just wanted to quickly mention it. Okay, let's talk about this release from Fenty Beauty. This is new limited edition products. There's going to be a match stick in a new shade. It's going to be in Strawberry Pop. And then we're going to have a pot Pout Sickle Hydrating Lip Stain. So I've really wanted to try that lip formula from Fenty, but I haven't yet. But I like the idea of a lip stain because then I can always go in with a gloss or an oil on top of it, but I would love to know if you have tried that formula, what you think of it. Is it worth the kind of high end price tag? Because if so, I could definitely see myself buying it. I like the the, the like color of the lip stain. Um, there's gonna be, um, yeah, the lip stain, that kind of purpley shade, it looks so beautiful. And I like this kind of ombre packaging, it's very cute. The cheek pop probably is a pass for me, but I'm definitely intrigued by the lip product. Right now, all I see is coming soon. Again, I try to link everything I can in the description box. If I have codes for any of these brands, I try to pop them on the screen and put them in the description box for y'all. I try to really pack the description box with as much information as possible, but I think this release from Fenty looks cute. Okay, Ritual Defeat has come out with a new foundation. Now, I did try this in a video. I used it in a Get Ready With Me a while back, and this is an oil-based foundation. So this is um, a foundation in 24 different shades. It says it was formulated to blend with your skin tone, and I will say the shade I have, I really enjoy. You'll have to watch that video to see it, but... I'm still testing and trying this. It's gonna take me a little while to review it because I really wanna try it with different primers. I found some primers that work good with it, some that don't. Of course, Ritual Defeat recommends their priming oil, but for me and my oily skin, I haven't gotten this foundation to last super long on me, although it is beautiful for the first few hours. So this says that it is three drops to a weightless serum foundation, and you can definitely build it up from there. It says it feels like nothing and changes everything. The coverage you want from a foundation, ingredients in a skincare, and it is a tinted oil. So it is oily. My dry skin friends, I think you will love this. In fact, I was telling a friend with dry skin who doesn't live in the hot, humid South like I do, that she should really check this foundation out because I think she will like it a lot. So this one I'm still reviewing, but I would love to know, are you interested in this foundation? Um, I'm testing and trying it. My review will be coming as soon as I have my full thoughts, but this is available now. Ritual Defeat does have some products at Ulta, but I did not see this foundation on their site at the time that I'm filming this. That doesn't mean it's not coming, but I'm filming this on a, sun, a Sunday, no, Saturday evening. So maybe it will come to Ulta, but I do think it's really pretty. We also have a new release from Armani Beauty, and this one I'm curious about as well. So let me know if you've tried this, did you already buy this? What do you think of this 
Oh, where'd I go? There we go. Luminous Silk Liquid Glow Bronzer Drops. So this is a Nordstrom exclusive. It says it has SPF 15 and it's a serum liquid bronzer for a sun-kissed look with a glowy finish. So this just sounds really pretty to me. It sounds like a product that would be very beautiful where you just do your skincare, maybe a little concealer, put on a little bit of this liquid bronzer, mascara, brow, out the door, lip oil, go. That's kind of what I'm envisioning in my mind. Now, I don't know how that would work in application. I don't know if this is a good product, but I would love to know, did you buy this? Because I'm seriously considering buying this. This says it's a lightweight serum texture that seamlessly blends into the skin to deliver a bronzed glowy finish. Um, SPF 15, long lasting, can be used all over the face or in targeted areas to sculpt softly. So I'm intrigued. It's $48, which is a bit pricey. So I, I don't know, but it says it's streak free, easy to blend. We like that natural golden glow. So maybe I'm contemplating buying this. Would you want me to see, like, would you want me to see, would you want me to test this out? Definitely let me know because I'm like one nudge away from buying this. Okay, Simply Posh has revealed their new Citrus Punch palette. Now, I do have videos. I was thinking, do I have a Simply Posh playlist? If not, I'm going to create one. So the time you're watching this, I will. I have reviewed their other palettes and I found them to be really, really pretty, really nice. And they're in the same format. So with the Citrus Punch palette, we have a row of six matte shades, a row of six shimmer duochrome shades, and then another row of six matte shades. I like this color story. And right now, as I sat down to film this, this palette showed up in the mail. So I'm so happy Simply Posh sent me this palette. I can't wait to play with it, test it. I am planning to do that. So you will have a video coming from me with swatches and tutorial very, very soon. Definitely subscribe if you want to see that. This is an AT Pan palette with rich citrus summer shades. It says the inspiration from the palette was citrus fruit. It is launching on May 12th at 3 p.m. Central Time. So looking at this palette, I really like that we have some light tones, mid tones, and deep shades. I like that we have greens, yellows, oranges, pink tones together. I think this is going to be really beautiful. I won't say too much about it because, of course, I'm going to be trying it. I'm going to have a video coming for y'all. I like the packaging. I think this looks really, really cute. I'm excited to play with it. I was actually planning to purchase it. When I saw the image, I'm like, I'm going to buy that. I like the brand. I think this looks pretty. So I'm so excited that I have it. I'm going to test it and get a video up to y'all before it launches. Okay, last week we talked about a quick sneak peek from Sugar Drizzle. And now we have some more photos and we'll look to be swatches. So these are dual-ended multi-chrome eyeshadow sticks from Sugar Drizzle. We still only know coming soon. So these look really pretty. I have to say I'm very interested in those light ones the most. I kind of want them all. So I'm not going to play favorites to a shade, but the light ended side of the stick, I think is going to be really pretty for inner corner highlights. And I'm intrigued by that one very much. So I'll keep you updated as we have more information, but I'm interested. Cleona has shown us the cover of an upcoming palette. This is their Deep Sea Treasures palette. And I'm pumped because Cleona has not released a palette since last year when they did their collaboration with Emily Violet Marie. So this says official launch details are coming this week. And it says, we can't wait to show you the jewels hidden within. So jewel tones. I love this theming of the packaging. I think the artwork looks pretty and fun. I can't wait to see what's inside. I love Cleona. I like that there's a little like hammerhead shark swimming in the background. That's pretty cool. I'm into it. We'll talk about it as soon as we know more. 
Okay, I won't spend too much time talking about these releases from Bella Butte Bar because I did already post a video. This is the Smoky Glam Palette. This is so, so pretty to me. I love these mauve tones. I love the cool tone neutrals. Watch my video. I did swatches. I did three eye looks with this palette. So you can definitely check that out if you want to see more. This is also releasing May 12th at 11 Central Time. Had Bella Butte Bar not sent this to me I totally would have bought it because I really like their formula and this palette I saw people asking like to compare it to other things but this palette I really can't because this one has duochromes and multi-chromes so that makes it hard to compare to some other things now if you're not into the large palettes but you want to try the brand they have so many palettes that I've reviewed too Celestial Garden CEO of the Rainbow their strange and unusual palette so they have a lot of smaller palettes but i am really into this color story i have a lot of fun with it again i won't say too much because i already made a whole video check it out but they also have this shimmer stay eyeshadow primer potion and i've really been enjoying this if you like a sticky tacky base to use with your shadows your multi-chromes your shimmer shades whatever i've really been enjoying this i've worn it several times for long periods of time it keeps my shadows nice because listen, if the glitter glue, glitter primer, glit, whatever is not good, I'll crease because my lids are oily. I have deep set eyes. I'm 35. I got wrinkles, crinkles, folds, everything going on and my eyes will eat shadow. So if I put on a glitter primer or something like that, that's not it for me, I'm going to know right away. But this kept my shadows on, kept them looking nice, didn't have any weird creasing, fading, anything like that. So I really, really enjoy this. It says uh, it applies clear and is the perfect base for chrome shadow. It helps flaker shadows stay put and makes them smudge proof. So I agree with that. I, th I thought it worked really well. Okay, Killian, let's talk about a fragrance. This is a gosh where is it click click okay love don't be shy warm florals adorned with distinctive white lacquer and engraved on each side with the representation of the achilles shield this looks really good marshmallow and musk are in the notes I could be about that. I could be about that life. I think they make some really beautiful fragrances and I would love to smell this in store. All right, y'all, that is all the new that I have to talk about. So it was a bit of a slower week, but still some good releases. Some not for me, some I'm into. I am so curious to hear your thoughts on everything though. I love hearing your thoughts and opinions on the makeup. Love hearing what y'all have to say. I will let you know I did film this look. This video will be coming this week. Can you guess what I'm wearing? Don't be jelly, unearthly cosmetics. I uh, will have a video coming for you ASAP. I just, I just, I just, mm. I mean, you see the makeup you see the makeup so I won't spend too much time talking about it I am off to spend some time with my family I hope that you are having an amazing day if you're at work I hope your work day is going by quickly if you're sick I hope you get well soon if you are having a great day that is wonderful whatever you're doing I hope that you are doing well thank you for spending your time with me I have lots of videos coming make sure to subscribe and I will see you soon in another video. Bye!